Great, so how do you do the tapping? Well, I'm gonna teach you a really easy and simple way. Now there is EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, there's Gold Standard EFT, there's Progressive EFT, there's Classic EFT, there's Simple Energy Techniques. There's a wide variety of uh, EFT and tapping. And um, <clears throat> this is basically all of the nonsense, all of the bells and whistles away, stripped down to its bare simplicity. What it comes down to is that when, if, when you st stimulate these points, I'm almost starting to stutter here, um, while focused in on the negative emotion, the negative emotion is gonna, de is gonna decrease and release. So that's, that's the basics of it all. So that's what this is. So when we went to the Philippines, this is in the Philippines, but when we went to Tacloban, where Super Typhoon Yolanda had destroyed, you know, the whole, you know, big parts of that city, and uh, people were very traumatized, we went there with a team of therapists, psychotherapists, psychologists, who were all experts in this technique, and we had to come up with a simple way of teaching the tapping to these people to help them overcome their trauma, and we taught it to, to them in group form. And since we had a bit of a language barrier, they could understand English, but they couldn't speak it that well. Um, and it was also their second language. We simplified it. And this is kind of how I often use it as well. So it's in three simple steps. Step one is you focus. So you need to focus on something. You need to pick a target. So you need to focus on a problem that gives you a negative emotion. Now that problem can be a negative memory, that problem can be a limiting belief, or that problem can be a physical sensation, or an anticipatory fear, or a worry, or a concern. And as you do, you know, a negative projection into the future, you know, these worst case scenarios that you, that you might make up, seeing yourself fail and all sorts of stuff. As you focus on a problem, what happens is you'll experience negative emotion, whether that is slight discomfort or tension in your chest or massive shame or embarrassment or any kind of negative emotion. So you pick something, that's step one, that's your focus. So for the people, the survivors from Yolanda, the first thing that we had them focus on was the sound of the wind. Because there was a howling wind that blew, you know, blew the roofs of houses, made windows pop, and it was such a howling wind that it really scared them. When they thought back to the sound of the wind, they got massive, massively afraid. They felt intense fear in their chest. Step two is you concentrate. So you concentrate on the problem. You concentrate either on, for them, um, the sound of the wind or on the emotion itself, the, where, where you notice that in your, uh, in your body. So for them, typically they would feel uh, intense fear in their chest. So they would focus on the sound of the wind or the feeling of the, uh, in their chest or they would alternate between the two. And then you go to step three, which is do the tapping. So that you do one round of tapping. So we had them focus on the sound of the wind, sound of the wind, sound of the wind, fear in my chest, fear in my chest, sound of the wind, sound of the wind, and they do one round of tapping, all of the tapping points once, and then at the end, take a deep breath. <sighs> now for these people, they would start out with an intense fear on a scale of zero to 10, zero, no fear whatsoever. By the way, this is typical, also was in, uh, in EFT, they call it as a subjective unit of distress which is basically you're just measuring how upset you are after you focus. So they would focus in on <clears throat> they would focus in on the sound of the wind, boom, their fear would be 10 out of 10. Zero is no fear whatsoever. 10 is the most fear uh, they've ever experienced. And they would feel it 10 out of 10. And they would do the tapping, you know, one round of the tapping. After one round of tapping, the fear would maybe be a five or a six. Okay, they would do another round of tapping, then it might be a three, another round of tapping, and it's gone. So, and then they could focus on the sound of the wind, and it would be nothing. Gone. That's what happens when, with the tapping. You know, it's that effective. Now, that wouldn't mean that their trauma of the storm was completely gone, because when we then would say, okay, how do you feel about Yolanda? How do you feel about the storm now? 
Now, then they would think about the next thing that would upset them. So in their case, it was often uh, the water that would start rising because there was a, 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 a seven-foot seven storm surge that pushed throughout the whole village. And the water quickly came within 30 to 60 seconds to the top of the second floor. So they had to, they had to grab their kids if they had kids, run to the second floor, you know, and try to stay afloat. If they would think about that, boom, all the fear would come back. But, you know, the fear didn't come back because the fear of the, the sound of the wind was gone. But this was another fear. It was a different fear. It was a different aspect of this particular memory, of this particular problem. So now they would simply focus on uh, the water rising, the water rising, the water rising, this fear in my chest, the water rising, the water rising. And, you know, they would start, start out with a fear this high, to do a round of tapping, round of tapping, round of tapping and the fear would be gone. And then they would think about the next thing, which might be the corpses that they saw and the feeling of the disgust that they had with that. Same thing, they would apply the tapping to that and they would feel sadness or disgust and it would start out this high and it would go lower, lower, lower until, you know, within a, for most people, within half an hour, 45 minutes, they could close their eyes, imagine the worst parts of the storm and they still would not be able to get upset, okay? The tapping processes the trauma, the, tra the tapping processes the negative emotion. So it's a very effective technique. And when it doesn't work, I'll get into detail uh, on, on the reasons for why it doesn't work uh, in, in a different video. When it doesn't work, you just need to apply it in a different way. But this is the super basics, okay? So focus on something. That's step one. Two, concentrate on the, on, on the problem. And step three, do a round of tapping. Okay, now after you've done your round of tapping, you take a deep breath. <sighs> now you reassess, okay? What is it like now? So if you have a, a fear of an upcoming situation and you think about it and you feel a, a seven out of 10 fear and you concentrate on that specific situation, you do one round of tapping, you take a breath, now assess, how do you feel now? Is it still a seven or is it less? If it's less, but still a bit there, great. Do another round of tapping, keep the same focus, okay? So that's how it works, super simple. Step one, focus, step two, concentrate, step three, do the tapping, and then reassess. And adjust your focus uh, if other things start coming up. So you might be thinking about this upcoming social situation and you feel this intense fear and you do the tapping and it is less, but now you're a little bit more specific about that upcoming situation because now you're like, well, what if I say something stupid? Now you've got a new focus, okay? Now concentrate on that thing, do the tapping, and then bring that down. And each problem that you have, each future scenario, each memory, each current day feeling that you have, typically, has, uh, has a certain amount of aspects or parts to it. So you might have, you know, you might have a memory. And in this memory, when you think back to it, you have, uh, say we take the same example, okay, uh, that I just told you about earlier, where my teacher said, hey, Sebastian, move with your big dumbbell ears away from the television. Well, that's a little story, right? That's a little memory in my mind. When I would think back to it, I would feel a couple of negative emotions. I would feel shame. I'd feel anger. I would feel fear. I might feel more. <laughs> you know, I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I cleared this. but. I need to then focus on each of those emotions one by one, okay? And, you know, <clears throat> there are also other specific things about that memory that I would think about different aspects of it. So when I would recall the sound of my teacher's voice saying that, boom, that would trigger something. So sound of teacher's voice, you know? And when I would think back, 
So I might clear the shame, I might clear the anger, I might clear the fear, and then I would think about it, and now I would might tune in to the sound of the teacher's voice, focus, uh, focus in, clear that, no more negative emotions when I think about that, then I would think back to the memory, and I might feel like, she betrayed me, boom, a new aspect comes up. Um, betrayal. And then I would focus, concentrate on tap. Basically, I get rid of each and every aspect one by one. And that is, you know, I'm just taking a memory as an example, but you can do this for future experiences as well. And, you know, there are a wide variety of ways of applying this, but I'm just teaching you the basics here. So I hope that's helpful, and I'll talk to you in the next video.